Him. There we go. Indy, of course, knocking out Denti uh, to the loser's bracket to get here. I like how you say, of course. Like, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, like it just happened. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty big upset. Really nice. Oh, yeah. Just footsies. And he's going back to Falco here. Uh, and a lot of that might just deal with just the style of gameplay you can expect against Robin. Such a zoning-oriented character. You can expect all the projectiles, and maybe Indy just really wants to have that reflector on lock to start dealing with some of that projectile-based pressure. Yeah, Falco, Falco's reflector is definitely going to change the way uh, German's going to have to space. That's a big punish right there. Oh, Robin's run speed is just pitiful, It's the worst in the game, isn't it? I believe it is. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's, it's worse than Ganon's. Jigglypuff, too. Uh, but... Uh, on the flip side, Robin has insane aerials and some pretty good projectiles. It's dependent, especially like if she's got some of them charged up. Like the Arc Thunder is really, really good. It clanks a lot, but I think that's a. I think Falco's a good pick for this too. Let's talk about some of the tools that both of these characters have. Whenever you look at uh, the neutral game as well as uh, the late game. Um, well, a lot of the tools, as uh, as we're seeing, is revolving around. How efficiently Falco can use his reflector. Uh, I like the way uh, Indy's using his side B. He's not really getting punished for it, um, and he's kind of landing for free. Robin's uh, slow run speed, unfortunately, hinders her from chasing Falco. But when you got aerials like that, do you really need to chase? Yeah, when you can just do like <laughs> Fox up smashes <laughs> as you're like up air, uh, that's what happens. That's what happens. Oh, I would really like to see an Arc Thunder reflected. <laughs> Off the stage, cute lasers. They Nintendo really kind of did a number on those. Oh, he's not gonna fall for that. Yeah, yeah have to try something a little trickier. I say Jefferson playing a, a bit lo too long. I think to be falling for tricks like that. Yeah, guarding guarding that guarding the center of the stage with his uh, arc fire. Ooh, that empty hop, those Feratsu. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Empty hot jumps are really good. And then when you attach it into an area like that, oh, got from the back too. The damage that's being dealt and the damage that's being recovered, so solid. German is looking crisp right now. He doesn't have that 11 sword though, and Indy's going to make the most of that opportunity. Fearless as he goes for the upper. I really like that. Uh, Nosferatu is like a really, really unique move. There's not very... Oh, okay, cute. I see you. The execution didn't happen, but the idea was great. You saw a germ shoot a, a slow projectile onto the stage as he grabbed the ledge, wanting uh, wanting Indy to go onto stage with side B and run into that. Uh, you can kind of <laughs> we kind of saw some tactics like that in uh, Brawl a lot. Like Meta Knights would pretend to jump out there at Falco's and then up B towards the stage, towards the center, and Falco's would like side B and and like get caught. Now Very I, tricky. I know that that Germ uh, is uh, is a player from Houston, but is he one of those old gens? Is he uh, is he been around since those brawl days or Germ? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Germ's been around for a long time. Uh, Germ played Toon Link in brawl. All right. So, so he's really familiar with uh, projectiles and such. He's a really good Toon Link too. I really enjoyed playing him whenever I could. He became he kind of became I think uh, more uh, inactive towards the end of brawl. Uh, like a lot of people did, but Smash 4 happened, and eventually a lot of the Brawl kids came back. It was good. Definitely happy to be seeing Germ. Uh, and his Robin, man, it's just... Like, the the way he's able to mix up, I think, a lot of um, Robin's different tools just makes him so scary. And speaking of mix-ups, actually, Indy pulling out a character I've never seen him play before, this Sonic. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know how this is going to do for him as far as the matchup goes, though. Yeah, he plays, uh, I was talking to him a little bit earlier, he plays Sonic. He plays Sonic, Falco, and I guess Marth. And I wasn't, he's trying to pick up Shulk. Uh, he doesn't generally like to do Sonic's bread and butter combos. He likes to be a little bit more creative. That was a lot of damage, so that's cool. Yeah, that was nasty. Um, the arc fire to keep him there into the uh, grab afterwards? Ooh, gross. Yeah, Sonic, Sonic's going to have problems with projectiles. Yeah, I, I agree. That, this is like a really strange pick in my eyes. Uh... He's, he's like, let me let me lay the hottest track of 2016. It's and called Dreamland. 
Yeah, mistakes uh, may have been made here. Even though Indy has a lot of ground mobility now, because of the walls of projectiles that are constantly stopping him, he can't really use it the way that he was hoping. I think the biggest mistake is he's got to learn how to walk shield uh, against a lot of these projectiles, jump over them, like spin jump, do the spin dash jump over these, uh, and avoid specific projectiles. Like the Arc Thunder and the Arc Fire, you do not shield those if you can help it. You roll past them or get out of the way or hit them with a projectile, uh, which Sonic doesn't have. And he's just not handling these projectiles very well. Sonic, I believe, can do really well versus... Uh, Versus Robin, he's just got he's just got to show. And we've got a pop off. I'm wondering if his opponent is live. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, you two heard your comment about the hottest mixtape, and he was like, "Nah." Yeah, yeah. He's Let like, me spit he's some like, fire real quick. Oh no, Indy. Mm, pineapple. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he's allergic. <laughs> There's some joke about Indy and. A new mixtape and indie mixtapes. So it's somewhere in there. Go, just imagine it. All right. So I think we have doubles coming up. 